So quite a few people remember this moment from Stardust Crusaders. That being when Kakuin tells Polnareff during the Hangman fight that the world within the mirror doesn't exist. Now this bit of information seems to directly contradict a future moment in the series, that being Eluso and his stand, Man in the Mirror, which seemingly enters a mirror world. So with this understood, we should ask the question, does the world within the mirror actually exist? So before we even discuss anything on the topic of the mirror world, we should understand the context behind Kakuin and Polnareff's conversation. So during the fight with the hangman, Polnareff uses Silver Chariot to shatter a reflective glass window in order to attack the enemy stand. Hangman then tells him that Silver Chariot can't harm him because Hangman exists in the mirror, which is proven to actually be a total lie on the part of Hangman to mess with Polnareff, which makes sense since Hangman was purposely trying to get Polnareff to act up and get emotional. Kakuin himself realizes this early on and and his conversation with Polnareff isn't really about disproving the existence of a mirror world, that's not really the topic of interest, but it's getting Polnareff out of the mindset that Hangman exists in a place that they can't reach. Because you see, stand battles, especially early on in JoJo, are wars of information. If you can dissect how your enemy's ability works, then you can structure a plan on how to beat them. So if Polnareff goes around accepting that his enemies are unreachable or untouchable, then that means he's setting himself up for failure. And it is this conversation between the two that helps them realize that Hangman's ability is all about the light being reflected off of reflective surfaces and not the reflective surfaces themselves. And with this information in hand, they can formulate a plan to force the light to go somewhere and allow them to attack Hangman's body while he's moving. Now this being said, Kakuin still doesn't believe in a mirror world at all, saying something like that is not possible for reality. But Polnareff offers up a counter-argument, and this one actually holds up pretty well. This being that, since there is a plane of existence that only stands can exist on, which is an actual fact of the universe and is the reason why non-stand users can't see stands, then that means that it's not too far out of the realm of possibility for a mirror world to exist as well. So this idea that the mirror world doesn't exist is never actually a steadfast rule of the series or the universe, but just the opinion of one character who's a little too logical about things. And Polnareff is actually the more correct one in this sense, since there is a plane of existence that mirrors reality, this being the realm of death. The realm of death is actually a pretty weird place in the series, being an actual different plane of existence that life isn't supposed to exist on, as when living things do enter the realm, they have all their belongings replaced and reversed with a copy comprised of spiritual energy. This implies that it's some sort of afterlife, maybe one of the hell realms or purgatories from Eastern Buddhism, which is somewhat backed up by the fact that the only known way to enter it while you're still alive is to be dragged there by its ruler, Aluso, and his stand, Man in the Mirror. And the way that Aluso does this is he creates gate ways to the realm via mirrors, which in itself is a reference to King Yama of Buddhist mythology, but if you want to learn more about that, you should check out my Eluso video. Though, since Eluso needs to create these gateways into the realm of death, it means that technically Eluso never enters a world within the mirror, but more so makes a mirror an entrance into another world, which sounds the same, but are actually very different concepts. As you see, a world within the mirror implies that the mirrors themselves are a glimpse into another existence, which is a common idea in horror mythoses, but in the universe they seem to be nothing more than tools that are comprised of material that reflect light, and only when man in the mirror is introduced that these mirrors become something more. This is also backed up by the fact that unless targeted by Eluso and man in the mirror, a person won't see a Luso or man in the mirror in the reflection of a mirror, even if the mirror has been turned into a gateway which, again, further separates the realm of death from what people see as a world inside the mirror. But, interestingly enough, as soon as someone is able to see the realm of death, all mirrors suddenly seem to work as windows into that world. Maybe it's a similar effect to how when someone unlocks a stand, they're suddenly able to see stands, because maybe Man in the Mirror triggers that part in the human brain that allows them to see the realm of death through a mirror, though that's just a bit of fun fan speculation, and we never really get anything backing this up later, especially since if Man in the Mirror dies, this entire thing goes away. So, funny enough, Kakuin's statement is also kind of correct, at least on a basic level. A world within the mirror is yet to be proven to exist in the world of Jojo. But also, Polnareff is correct in his assertion that not only does a realm exist that mirrors reality, but given the different planes of reality that they have to work with, there's no 100% way of factoring out the idea that a world inside the mirror could possibly exist. So, at the end of the day, neither of them were right or wrong, 
And it's really a huge stretch to say that Man in the Mirror is a case of a Rocky forgetting, no matter how you slice it. Especially so if you examine the inspirations of these two stands. The Man in the Mirror was a stand created by Rocky because he wanted to write a story where someone could enter and exit a mirror. Where Hangman was based on the idea that it would be creepy if your reflection started moving differently than you were in reality. Sure, the two ideas are related by proxy of a mirror being a reflective surface, but the concepts themselves are very different. Now I hope you enjoyed this shorter video. I like to address small little aspects of a series universe, and I felt like the mirror world conversation comes up enough that this would be a good place to start a series like this. Now, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like in the future, I have a Patreon at patreon.com slash many not the bad guy. And if you want to reflect on your own self-actions, head on over to buyshimanetta.com and buy yourself a copy of Shimanetta.